good morning from the city of London. Well, we've come to go up another building, maybe this one, for example. One of those interesting coloured things on the roof. It's the city, so there's basically no one here. But there is a few things open today. It's also very, very cold and windy. <laughs> Still, it'll be even colder and windier when we get up there, so that'll be fun. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. We've come into the Royal Exchange uh, because the uh, roof of that building is unfortunately closed the weekends at the moment. But um, the Royal Exchange is warm. It smells of beautiful log fire and it looks beautiful. And it's surrounded by shops that sell expensive watches. So I am very at home indeed. <laughs> the weather's improved, so we've had something to eat in King's Road in the market. Now we're just wandering around in the sunshine and the blossom. Okay, here we go. It gets better. Genius, isn't it? Absolute award-winning dickheadness. <laughs> Congrats, everyone involved. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Toby. Afternoon. It's Monday. Oh, I've just been into Richmond to have some lunch and a break from my editing that I've been doing all morning on parade things. Hopefully no more parade things today, or at least only very minor things. Got to do a load of student radio things this afternoon. The weather is improving. It's blue and sunny as it has been before, and the wind is still easterly, so that still means it's quite a cold wind, but it's supposed to turn around tomorrow. Once we get the westerly winds coming in, then it warms up quite quickly, and by Easter, I'm sure it's gonna be 20 or 21 degrees which is, you know, summer, as we like to call it, although last summer was obviously quite very, very hot. Um, so that's quite exciting. Um, I do have quite a lot of work to do today and tomorrow, but, you know, Wednesday might be fun. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, and for the last two and a half days, I feel like I've been stuck indoors doing the same video again and again and again and again. And hopefully... There's almost no more changes. I say almost because I won't believe it until I actually hear it. It has been intensely frustrating and the weather's been pretty good. I mean, today is the weather's exceptional. It's like 19 degrees and sunny or hazy sunny. Um, but the last couple of days, it's been good enough that I could have gone out, except I couldn't go out. And it's been winding me up. So I've sent the videos off. I'm out now. They have to be finished by this evening anyway, so it kind of limits the amount more changes that I can do. So I'm running away with my phone, hoping that nobody rings it. And oh, what a difference it makes when you clean your camera lens. The only piece of advice I give to everybody who takes photos with their cameras. Clean the damn lens. It makes a big difference. Just heed my own advice. So it's the formal opening of Chihuly, which is all the wonderful glass work you can see here. And even in here. And that's what people have uh, come to photograph. Plus it's the Easter holidays and so it's gone a bit bonkers in queue. And this. It's amazing, it's actually hot in the temperate house. That might sound obvious, it's a glass house, but in the winter, it's just pleasant in there. You know, it's not freezing, it's just nice. You still probably wear a jacket for a lot of the time, but it's actually hot in there. It's hot if you're just wearing a, a jumper. It's t-shirt weather in the temperate house. I can't remember the last time I was outdoors and thought, this is really quite warm. It certainly wasn't recently. It's also very busy in the gardens, but that is kind of inevitable when, you know, Easter holidays is on. It's always weird when I come in and I suddenly see loads of people and I forget that, you know, 
sometimes people do come in the gardens and it's not just me. Summer is an exercise in sharing. Blossom. I think this is apple blossom. I'll have a look in a minute. It's actually a wild pear. Lovely. It's always possible to find a bit of queue without any people in it. Even on the busiest, warmest day over Easter, you just have to go a bit further afield. It's lovely. It's like wandering through the countryside here. Very, very pleasant. It's what I've needed for a couple of days to get out, see nature. <laughs> Smell the greenery. Love it. Right, tomorrow I am going to Webvid and then we're going into the centre of town to film some random conference or something during the day. So that will be a new venue to uh, sniff around and whatnot. And um, yeah, so actually using a camera rather than just staring at a screen. So that'll be nice. Uh, so that means the usual morning commute and tomorrow morning is going to be beautiful. So I'm quite looking forward to that. Good morning. It is quite hazy, um, which is the only thing keeping the temperature down at the moment. It's only about 10 degrees centigrade. Um, but it's going to get up to the low 20s today as soon as the haze burns off really. I'm filming in the city of London but I've got to go via Webvid first. Excellent uh, pansy selection there, I think you'll agree. Um, sorry, distracted by flowers, they're looking excellent and the fact it's a wonderful spring day and you've got that scent in the morning of what a nice day it's going to be. You can just feel it bubbling under. So yeah, let's go and see what random uh, location we have for today's filming. And what an amazing thing to be doing. I actually remember bottle deposit schemes and I used to love them. I used to run around them. And have you finished with that? You know, and try and get all the money back. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great thing to do. It's a great thing to do for many reasons. All right, okay, to guide you. Bottle goes in. Yeah. All you need to do is crush it up. Oh, make it vanish. Oh, oh, that feels good. Oh, that's very satisfying. As she takes it off you, and then it's brilliant. Press the button. And oh, hold on a minute. I'm gonna. I'm, I've got more money to oh, make. Yeah. Oh, I love that feel. Really good. Why don't you look around and see no. what happens? Oh god. No. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What's behind you? I don't I don't want to look behind you. I can't. Oh god. Can you hear it? No. What? No. <laughs> it's a silence. Why can't you hear it? It's your ass. <laughs> What's she doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going? Love. You're just gone. Hello. It's quite handy being on a tiny chair actually. Yeah, it's a good little... Is that it? She's gone now. No, I don't know. It's a good old I don't know. I'm just in the dark at the moment. I think she's coming back. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. She's coming back. <laughs> good morning. Just I turn the camera on. The squirrels stop being weird. There's one up there though. There's a 
about five of them out this morning and uh, they're doing what they always do when it's a nice morning and they bounce around and act like lunatics but now I'm watching them they can <laughs> just pretend to be statues okay fine um good morning it's Saturday the air smells like it's going to be very hot today because it is it's going to be 25 and it's got that feeling about it as you get in the morning sometimes when you know this is the only bit of the day where there's going to be any sort of chill in the air it's blue it's wonderful and it's bank holiday easter weekend it is friday so we should do a word of the week before i forget and it ends up being next week um so it is good friday today so the word of the week will be bank holiday which believe it or not is usually one word in most other languages so first of all in German, a bank holiday is der Feiertag, der Feiertag. And in German, you can be very precise, so you could say der Bank Feiertag if you want to be very specific about the time, kind of bank holiday it is, and particularly a banking one. Um, but der Feiertag would cover it for most other things. Um, and in Italian, you could simply say il festivo which literally means the holiday or you could say la festa nazionale if you wanted to talk about the fact that it's a national holiday of some iteration so il festivo or la festa nazionale bank holiday in italian there we go that's how you describe this glorious day off in german and italian that was this week's word of the week Okay, so queue's broken. Someone's broken queue. Look at this. It is a queue for queue in two directions. And they're both about, I don't know, 20 minutes long. It's nuts. What's happened? Stop advertising, everyone. So we went all the way down to, um, to Lion Gate, the very other end, and came in that way because the queue was smaller and they had queue jump for members. But as you can see, is busy everywhere. I have never seen the gardens like this before. There is nowhere where there is no one. You can usually see 50 people from anywhere you're standing in the gardens today. Even the really remote parts, it's nuts. So it's just coming out at seven o'clock. It's still really nice out. I'm still in shorts and a t-shirt. It's about 20 degrees. And the thing that's so nice is that everyone is either outside on their balconies or with the door open having dinner so you can just hear the sound of like cutlery and crockery and uh, it feels like summer it's lovely i know it's not and i know this is just a temporary sort of heat wave and we'll go back to something more normal come tuesday but it's still very nice and it's getting me totally in the mood for seville where we go a week on monday so I think that's it for today. It is Good Friday, I keep forgetting that it was Friday, so I'm gonna sign off now. Thank you very much for watching. Join me next week where the heat wave continues. <laughs>